In 2022, Shelly Ann Fraser Price redefined what it meant to be a 100 meter sprinter. Aside from winning her fifth world championship gold medal in the event, and already being a four time Olympic medalist with two golds, a silver, and a bronze, in 2022, Fraser Price ran 10.6 seconds on seven occasions, the most of any woman in history. Now, I've already gone and done a video explaining why Fraser Price is the greatest women's 100 meter dash sprinter in history, so be sure to check that video out. But today, let's just go through some of the numbers and look at where Fraser Price's times stack up against some of the other all-time greats in the 100 meter dash. First off, by the end of 2020, only three women had ever run sub 10.7 seconds, Florence Griffith Joyner, Carmelita Jeter, and Marianne Jones. And between the three of them, they had run a total of six performances, Griffith Joyner three times, Jeter two times, and Marianne Jones just once. Now, one year later in 2021, both Elaine Thompson Hira and Shelly Ann Fraser Price entered the sub 10.7 club. Combining their performances with Flojo, Jeter, and Jones, there were now 12 sub 10.7 performances. Thompson Hira led that list with four marks, while Fraser Price had now done it twice. Entered 2022, and Shelly and Fraser Price completely upended that list. Now, no new women had run sub 10.7, so the top five remained the same. But in terms of performances, with her seven 10.6 races in 2022, Fraser Price moved to the top spot with an overall nine performances. What that meant was, with an all-time total of 19 sub 10.7 performances in history, Fraser Price basically owned half of that list. What's even more significant is that within less than a month's time frame, from July 17th to August 10th, 2022, Fraser Price ran four sub 10.7 races. That alone is more than Flojo had ever done, Jeter had ever done, Jones had ever done, and equal to Elaine Thompson Hira's total performances. So we're already off to a legendary start. Let's look at some all-time stats now. First off, the fastest woman in history. Now, there are 14 women who have run 10.76 or faster in history. Griffith Joyner, of course, holds that world record at 10.49 seconds from 1988. Of course, the performance has been noted as wind aided technically based on a few studies, but it's of course still stands. That's a world record. Then you have Thompson Hira, Fraser Price, Jeter, and Jones rounding out that top five. Some legendary names like Merlene Adi, Evelyn Ashford, Veronica Campbell Brown, and others have all run 10.76 or faster in their careers. Moving on to the top 10 average, Fraser Price leads the way with 10.65 seconds as an average, with Thompson Hira just behind with the second best average of 10.67. Now, it's clear that Fraser Price's 2022 season catapulted her to the top of this list, as prior to this year, she had a top 10 average of 10.697, which is still absolutely insane. Now, there are some other all-time greats here, like Merlene Adi at number six and Gwen Torrance like number 10. What makes some of these names on the list super impressive is that someone like Gwen Torrance only had a personal best of 10.82 seconds, which is actually number 29 all time in the 100 meter dash. But her consistency in that low 10.8 range brought her to the top 10 average here. But as noted, Shelly and Fraser Price leads the top 10 average list. Next up, looking at the top five average performances, here we see it's super close again, but this time Thompson Hira takes that top spot with a 10.62 average. Of course, her 10.54 personal best really helps her here. But Fraser Price is not too far behind with 10.632 seconds. If you notice, because we're only using the top five as opposed to top 10 performances here, this list is very similar to a degree to the all time 100 meter list. And note that prior to 2022, Fraser Price had a top five average of 10.67 seconds. So she would have only sat at number four all time on this top five average performances list. Next up, we have sub 11 performances, and Shelly Ann Fraser Price absolutely dominates this list with 78 sub 11 performances, which is absolutely insane. That is 12 more than second place for Merlene Adi at 66 performances. Thompson Hira is in third with 58 performances, while Campbell Brown and Jones are at fourth and fifth with 49 and 42 performances, respectively. Note that in 2022, Fraser Price ran 11 sub 11 races, so by the end of last year, she had 67 performances and was already the number one ahead of Adi. Moving down to sub 10 9 performances, and the gap continues to grow. Fraser Price once again leads with 53 races. That's almost 20 more than Thompson Hira in second place with 36, while Jones and Adi have 29 and 23 respectively. 
Another level down, and it gets even crazier. Fraser Price has run sub 10.8 seconds 31 times throughout her career. That's almost as many total sub 10.9 races Thompson Hira has ever run. Speaking of, Thompson Hira again comes in second place with 16 sub 10.8 second runs, while Jones is the only other person with double digits at 13 performances. Now, we went through this previously, but looking again at sub 10 7 races, Fraser Price leads the way at nine times, almost half of all the sub 10 7 races in history. A notch down, sub 10 6, and we only have Flojo and Thompson Hira, while of course Flojo is the only one to crack sub 10.5 with her 10.49 world record. Next, looking at consecutive years running sub 11 seconds, Merlene Adi and Veronica Campbell Brown lead the way with nine years each, while Thompson Hira has done it eight consecutive years. Marlies Gurr and Mirla Hure have done it seven years, while Fraser Price is tied with Jeter, Torrance, and Stewart at six consecutive years each. One note is that Shelly and Fraser Price would have had 15 consecutive years if it not for her 2010 ban and the year off in 2017 to have her child. But I had to be fair and leave those two years off, only giving her six consecutive years. Another note is that Adi would have had 16 years, but she had three years where she ran 11 seconds or slower. So again, couldn't give her those years. Next, in terms of what age the top women have run their personal best, specifically women who have run sub 10.8 seconds, Adi has run it at the oldest age with 10.74 seconds at age 36, while Yvette Lalova Colio is the youngest having run 10.77 at age 20. Fraser Price's personal best of 10.60 was run last year when she was 34 years old. Finally, let's just highlight the fastest time run at every age between 16 and 40. Now, two names of course stand out on this list, Shelly and Fraser Price and Merlene Adi. Adi has six age records at age 30 and ages 36 through 40, while Fraser Price has five age records at age 25, 26, 32, 34, and 35. So look out for her to potentially get that age 36 record next year. And also really great to see some other names like Evelyn Ashford's 10.76 at age 27, Marie-José Talou's 10.72 at age 33, and Tiana Madison's 10.78 at age 30. So those are just a few stats for the women's 100 meter dash, and I'm sure there's probably a couple things that I missed out on, so let me know in the comments below. But it's clear that as Shelly Ann Fraser Price is ranked at or near the top of every list we went over, she is easily the best 100 meter sprinter in history, and 2022 was just an extension of that. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back again next time. Thanks for watching. It's Shelly Ann Fraser Price for her fifth world title. But what can you say about the 35 year old Shelly Ann Fraser Price continuing to churn out the championships? long after anybody thought she would still be competitive.